Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, I want to go to the Sierra first. You can see it's still snowing there at Palisades Tahoe. Picked up about eight inches in the last 24 hours. You've got another surge of snow coming overnight tonight into the, uh, the morning hours tomorrow. All right, into the, uh, the Wasatch, still some very light snow coming down. This is solitude, five to six inches of new snow in the last 24 hours. Let me take you up to Alta, a very similar situation, about six inches of new snow. Still snowing there. It's going to continue to snow pretty much the entire day today um, into tonight, so some additional accumulation likely up there. All right, over to Radar. Um, you can see a little bit of blue showing up over the top of the Wasatch and Salt Lake and western Colorado. A little heavier precip up there in the Pacific Northwest. And you can see some snow or some precip heading towards Tahoe right now above 7,500 feet. So this is, this is going to be the pattern for a while um, with storm systems hitting the west coast and then uh, pieces of those storm systems moving into the interior Rockies. Here are my latest bullet points. This is what I'm seeing this morning. So we've got three to four storm systems lined up for the west coast through 128. The Sierra, like I said, snow. Um, the next surge comes in tonight, tomorrow morning. Another snow for 124, 125, above 7,500 feet. You can see the timeline for the Wasatch, for the Tetons in Colorado right there. In the northeast, you've got snow coming, afternoon 123, and probably into 124. And then it may turn over to a mix of rain or rain snow 125 and 126. All right, let me take you back. I want to show you water vapor satellite imagery this morning. So really all part of a, a large storm system hitting the west coast and it's sending um, a southern track low right here through the interior. A little piece broke off. There's another area of low pressure behind it, another one behind that. Just a very large trough supporting all of this and a strong subtropical jet stream escorting it all into the west coast. Um, here's the forecast radar and satellite. That's the uh, the current state of affairs by this afternoon, the radar and satellite. Some waves of snow through the Tetons, the Wasatch, and in western Colorado. Moving ahead, here's tomorrow morning. Still some light snow through the interior. Next storm system moves into the Sierra. And there we go, 122 in the afternoon. That sends a southern track storm out and another wave of snow for the, uh, the Wasatch, parts of Idaho, and eventually into the Tetons. There's 123 in the afternoon. Here's 124 in the morning. Next storm system hits the, the Pacific Northwest. Here's 125. That sends another wave of snow through the interior, Idaho, Montana, Tetons, Wasatch, and eventually that moves into Colorado and becomes a southern track storm system. Um, so that'll benefit New Mexico and a lot of southern Colorado. So there's your end view on 126. So you really get the picture. The storm systems hit the West Coast, then they send energy in through the interior. All right, let's talk jet stream here. So here we are on 122. So this is tomorrow. Strong subtropical jet blowing warm air into the west with a trough sitting over the inner mountain. So a couple of areas of low pressure will make that southern track through the four corners with that type of pattern. So that's 122. Here's 125. Um, similar setup uh, with a trough moving out of Colorado and New Mexico. One of those southern track storms will be exiting at that point. Um, and this is quite different. So this is 130. Not a lot happening on 130. Pretty much a high pressure ridging situation across most of the Intermountain West. But a strong subtropical jet is, is loading up across the Pacific and that may be bringing in a storm system into the first few days, into the West Coast, the first few days of February. Okay, as far as snowfall, we'll do this by time period. So the remainder of today through tomorrow, you could pick up another six inches in the Wasatch, maybe an inch up in the Tetons, one to three, one to four through parts of Colorado, and potentially six to 12 above 7,500 feet in the, uh, the Sierra. 123 through 125, another six inches in the Wasatch, a few up there in the Tetons, another one to three in Colorado, and potentially two to four in the, uh, the high Sierra. Final time period, 126 to 130. A little bit of snow up there through parts of Montana, Idaho, Wyoming. Uh, potentially another one to three there in Colorado, heavier in southern Colorado and northern New Mexico with those southern track storm systems moving through there. Up into the northeast we go. Up into the northeast, again, you've got a storm system coming in, 123, 124, with some snow accumulation, probably light to moderate, and then it may change over to rain or rain-snow mix on 25, 26, so that would cut down on potential accumulations, but looking at potentially three to maybe six inches of snow, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. All right, let me zoom into Colorado. This is a grand total map, I-70 and north, 121 through 130. 
again, just a bunch of one to three inch snowfalls. Um, and these will be grand totals, 121 through 130. Moving a little further west, again, these are pretty small totals, 121 through 130, but maybe three to six inches. Uh, that'll probably do it across the West Elks and the Collegiates. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.